What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to code a command handler for your Discord.js bots. This actually has been my most suggested video on this channel and here I am coding the command handler. If you're new to this channel, this is a channel where I code different Discord bots and I usually take suggestions from the comment section below. So if you have a suggestion, let me know down below. If you are also new here, make sure to watch the first two videos on this playlist on how to get your Discord bots ready and started and also on how you can do commands. Even though in this video, I'm kind of going to change some things that we did in that video for our commands. But nevertheless, you still need to watch that to kind of understand what we're doing here. I finished recording the video. So this is before you see any of this. And I forgot to say that the code for this video will be in the description below on a paste bin. So if you do want the code, it's down there in the description. All right, back to the video. All right, so this right here, this code is basically the structure of our bots that we have been using for pretty much every single video on this channel. And it's very simple. We have two listeners, one for the bot being ready, and it's just logging on the console uh, that the bot is online. And then also here we have our listener for messages, for our commands on a switch in case and that's how we have been doing commands. So what is a command handler? Most Discord bots or most coders want to kind of structure the code where you're able to easily access something of your code. So what they do is basically they have different parts of their code, different parts of their bot or their program or their software in different files. Right now, if you want to write a very big Discord bot, then you're going to be writing it all in this file. And with a command handler, you can actually have separate files for every single command. And that way you can actually structure your code and you can uh, kind of easily bug stuff. And it's way more easier for you to structure your bot on every single command, having it its own separate JavaScript file instead of having one big file that runs your entire Discord bot. So that's kind of what a command handler is. And we are going to be doing that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. There is one thing we're going to require and you don't have to install anything from MPN. And that is the FS. It actually comes with node.js. So we do const FS and we are going to require FS. And that should pretty much work. And we are going to do all of our work right here. So after we require, we have to create a collection. So what we can do is we can do bot dot commands. And the bot right here is what we called our client. And I forgot we have to do discord.client. I don't know, that was a quick mistake there. And then we are going to create a new discord dot and it will be a collection. And that is a collection for our commands. And now we are going to do a little bit of advanced coding and we are just going to pretty much read every file, get it and pretty much get everything ready so we can read the multiple command files. So we're going to create a const and we're going to name this command files and it's going to be equal to fs.readdirsync and in here we are going to kind of get the location of the folder where we're going to hold all of our commands. So let's actually create the folder right now. Go back to where you have your Discord bot and create a folder. And for this tutorial, I'm going to create the folder commands. And inside the commands, that's where you're going to have every single command and a separate file. So let's actually create a file where we're going to store the ping command. We're going to do a basic ping command. So let's go ahead and just create a file called ping.js. And ping.js is inside the commands folder. So let's go up here. And if we go back into our code into read, read their sync, let's do dot backslash. Uh, that's a comma dot backslash commands. And that is a way of how to uh, kind of check where that folder is. We're going back a folder and we're finding the folder commands and whatever you named your folder, just change it right here. All right. And then we're going to filter. So dot filter and we're going to pass file like this. Oh, sorry if I can type and then file. And if I do, yeah, ends with, and it's going to end with, we are going to do dot JS and we're just kind of getting everything with the dot JS. All right. And now we're going to do a loop so we can get every single file on that command folder. So for, and we do const file of command files. 
and in here we're gonna do another const and it's gonna be called command and it's gonna just require and then in here we're gonna do the back I, I still don't know what to call this but this is the back quotation marks which is the you can get it with the tilde key which is above your tab and below your escape and it's these right here I can actually zoom in I just because a lot of people actually uh, comment and saying hey what is this guy saying tilde key it's these backslash like quotations I really don't know how to say it it's on the tilde key it's next to your one just do shift and you know press on it all right so we have that and with this this is going to allow us to we kind of have a implement some js in this string and that's why we do this so let's do commands dot command commands that's the folder that we have and then we are going to do a money sign and brackets and we are going to pass in file all right so that should be good and then at the bottom we're going to do bot that commands dot set and in here command name and command command and that should be everything we need for this code and this is too big i forgot how i had it let's just have it like that so that's pretty much everything we need on our index.js file so let's actually go into coding that command on a separate javascript file which is the pin command in here it's very simple and very basic all we have to do is the module exports and if you've been coding javascript you probably know what this is uh, so we're going to do module.exports and you're going to have to do this every single time you create a new command on a new file just do module.exports equals then open it up in brackets in here we're going to name the command and we're just going to name it ping and then we're going to add a description and in here says ping or something and then here's the important part we're going to have some sort of function which is going to execute and that is the execute function so execute and then message and then args we're just passing that through and then in here basically is where we have all of our code that we want this command to do so in a normal ping command you just want to message the channel saying pong so chat uh, message message that channel this is just the basic command stuff that we've been learning throughout my whole entire videos that send and then we're going to send pong and again this is where you have all your code instead of having it right here so let's save it and this is where you would have it normally but this is where we're going to have it now and then up here make sure you don't delete this but down here on our basic command handler that we used to have, what we can do is we can simply just do a bot that commands dot get, and we are getting the file ping. Make sure it's the same thing, and then dot execute ex, ex, sorry, execute, and we are going to pass in our message and args, and that should be it. So again, what does this do? This makes it where instead of writing all the code down here on one file, we simply just have one line of code and then we can mess around as much as we want with this file. It's simple as that, it's just organizing and it's something that's very important and a lot of people like and a lot of people want and most commercial bots and bots are actually sold or uh, they're actually ran for profit or you're just running for fun they need a command handler they want to have a command handler because you want to organize your commands on separate javascript files so it doesn't just cluster the main javascript file here which is uh, you know index.js or main.js whatever you named it with this we should be good to go so if we run a node space dot we shouldn't get any errors if we go up here this is something else uh let's just do it yeah why not do it in this channel and if we do the ping command it's going to respond pong even though if we go back up here we have no code down here except getting all the code from the ping file Let's actually create one more command just so you guys kind of get the gist out of it. So let's do case and it's going to be hello. So hello. And we're going to do the break real quick. And in here, we're just going to get all of this. Oops, sorry. Copy it. And we are going to create the file hello. So let's go back up here into our command folder, our commands folder. 
and let's call it hello.js. We're going to pretty much just copy all of this, paste all of that, and instead of saying pong, say hello. Look how simple it is to create a simple command handler and a simple command using this method. So let's go ahead and just reload everything. And, and now if we do ping, it's going to say pong. If we do hello, it's going to crash because this is what I get for trying to make a quick video and just copying and pasting. So the problem was, is that I had copied everything from the ping file into the hello file and I forgot to change the name to the command hello and the description, I mean, doesn't really matter for the description, but says hello, gotta change that. And now it should work. So that was the problem. That's what I get for being an idiot and just copying and pasting stuff. So let's open that up. So there was nothing wrong with the index file. It was just me being an absolutely idiot. And are you freaking joking me? What's happening? Did I not save the file? Oh, sorry. See, it, the name is hello. It's what, what, what is wrong with me today? I, okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's go back. And it should be fine. I misspelled hello. Make sure you don't do those errors. Hello. Hello. There we go. So make sure that you name this correctly. And you don't mess up with the name. So that's the big problem there. Holy crap. All right. We got it done. The tutorial is over, guys. That's pretty much it. Simple as that. I'm actually going to be using this method for the rest of the tutorials. Maybe. If you guys want me to use the other method, it might be a little bit easier. But in this method, I have different files. And I can just continue adding the files and kind of coding everything through here. But you guys let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue these tutorials with this command handler or just completely remove the command handler and then go back to doing these other tutorials. And if you do want to have a command handler, then you could just take the code from down here and make it into a file. So make sure you guys let me know. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment below any suggestions for upcoming Discord.js videos. And I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.